Good morning guys, welcome back to day number two in the Everglades. So I think today our goal is uh, Goliath Grouper. So we're gonna try to specifically target them. Now I'm sure we're gonna find some snook and maybe some other species. I hope we find some snook and some other species while we're fishing for them. But main species we're targeting is Goliath Grouper. We only got one yesterday. Nick hooked into a giant, which went into a few minute fight and then it, it ended up... Lightest setup in the boat, which was kind of unfortunate. We got some heavier setups today. We're a bit more ready for him, but the one he hooked was probably 20 to 25 pounds. It was a big fish. Had him up to the surface a few times, but ended up getting back into a log and uh, breaking the braid on a on probably a barnacle or an oyster or something. But I'm hoping we can find some more of those. Those were super sick. They're almost like a, a big bass is kind of what I consider it. I feel like I'm bass fishing, just flipping trees and stuff, getting ready for just a huge thump and an insane fight. So. We're, uh, we're going out right now. It's currently 7 a.m. And uh, I think we're gonna have good weather. Yesterday it stayed dead glass till around 2 p.m., which is the best the best weather you could ask for out here, or in general, anywhere. We haven't had any, um, for the most part, really calm days in Florida recently. We had one yesterday, so I'm hoping we can have another one today, get on some good fish, and uh, make a sick video for you guys. So if you guys enjoy this video at the end of the day, hit the thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, hit the red subscribe button. But no more talking, we're gonna head out and uh, get to fishing. Let's do it, guys. There you go, right there. Get ready for the thump of your life. I don't even know if I was rolling for that. We, uh, first thing we saw were some tarpon, so we pulled over and we're throwing at him. Nick just got hit eight feet from the boat. How big do you think he was? Uh, 40. 40 pounds? So we're in some tarpon here. I want to see if we, we can find one. Skip up under there, Nick, like up against the wall. There you go, right there. That was like a 25. Perfect. Dang. All right, I'm throwing the uh, five inch NLDN uh, paddle tail here on a half ounce jig head, 5,500 pen spin fisher. Fenwick Elite Inshore, this is a 7.6, it's a heavy rod. Nick's throwing a low mullet right now that he got blown up on. I feel like that's probably going to be better for tarpon, but we're ready. We're pretty much going to go all in OBN today, so any of the baits you see us using, you guys can get on the No Live Bait Needed website. Go back there. There you go. Yep. There you go, Nick. Heck yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got a giant. He's pretty nice. You got him. Looks like you got him. I'm trying to bury that. Yep. Up. <laughs> hey, oh. be careful. You might want to jump down. Careful, he'll jump on the other side of the boat. That's what'll get you. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go! First tarpon of the Everglades. We're at least hooked up. You've survived several jumps here, so that's I good. That little mole float right there. Acrobatic, to say the least. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's pinned. He's done. I'm really scared a giant bull shark is going to come freaking gnaw on us.
You got him. You got him. Oh, why is he bleeding so bad? Might have just been where you got him at. Ah, oh, seriously? Yes, sir. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, Nick. On uh, on the little mullet there, I think that color is called the natural ice. It's like a like a kind of like a glittery, shiny color. No need to really lift this one out of the water. Yeah, he's beautiful. What is he? Probably 15, 18. Pounds, yeah, he's right? probably 15 pounds. Beautiful fish. That was epic, to say the least. The big blow up from the big one and then followed up by the I'll take a tarpon bath to start early in the way morning. Way to start the morning. Let's go. So we had like uh I want to say we had probably five or six rolls up in there from bigger ones too, probably fish 40 pounds, and uh had a huge blow up on Nick's little mullet, and then maybe 10 casts later we got one. So we're gonna keep working this bank here. Uh, looking for hopefully some more tarpon and uh, specifically Goliath grouper, but yeah, got that guy on the world famous the hello mullet. That's I think that's natural ice, really sick bait. But get you rigged up on another one. Heck yeah, keep cool. you rocks, man. First Thanks, ever buddy. Glades tarpon. That was sweet. Whew. Check this out. This is my Plano NLBN box here. We are loaded with baits here, I think. I don't know if I have another one. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, this is a similar color. I'll give you this one. I think this is Melbourne Mint. It's a dark blue. 5 -0. these are the hooks we like for little mullets. It is a 5 -0 BKK Titan Rider. Bring you up on one of these. They're rolling right behind me. Alright. Alright, here. This is a dark blue with some gold speckles in there. Should work just about the same. What was that? There we go. That's a nice snook. Off the tree. I know. Bumped the crap out of that. I kind of thought it was going to be a Goliath because of where he was sitting. Yeah, no Alright. Let me get this thing. Nice. Ate a big bait. Yeah, Ate a big bait, but snook are known to do that, so. Same with bass, honestly. Oh. Where? Snook are chewing and you're hung on the tree? Oh my god, he broke my memory. <laughs> Dang. I'm trying to reverse with the current ripping, so. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Nice. Good yeah. eye. How is that possible, Justin? I literally. Didn't even finish my sentence. I was saying, I cannot believe we don't see more. Here, stuff. heads up, here, heads up. Watch out for the tree. That's pushing me up. Oh. oh. I don't know why that get. <laughs> when, that th when that thing swam out, I was like, what the f is that? <laughs> Where the heck do the little juvie tarpon live? Probably all back black, dirty water probably. Oh, here's a snook under the tree. That's instant. It's about time. He inhaled it. I know. I sight fished one though. 
happy to see a golden snook. <laughs> Well, small update for you guys. We've been struggling just a little bit to find anything, to be honest. And it got a couple little snook. I got the one earlier today. This guy just about inhaled this thing. He's all the way back in his mouth there. We're gonna have to push it out from the outside. Got it. Woo! Freed me up pretty good too. But tiny little dink here. We're trying to find anything decent. We're still trying to find Goliaths. And it is, I think it's about 10 a.m. What time is it? About 10 a.m.? Oh, that wasn't loud. <laughs> it's about 10 a.m. I'm gonna guess. Switched over to a three incher, but we're just not finding a whole lot right now. It's a snook. Oh, good call. Good call. I didn't see him at all. He blended literally right into the sticks. My track's pretty tight. But yeah. Good call. Wish we could see some more like that. Literally straight inhaled it. Didn't even think twice about it. Probably started to chase it while I was in the air flying in there. Nice little guy. He was just floating there right on the surface under that log. He blended right in with the sticks. He was like the exact same color of them. All right. Put you on your way. There you go. All right. Still cannot find a grouper, but I'll take the snook. Like those areas right there, that's got to be where they live, right? We just haven't came across one. Clear water. Good current, eight, and Right. There's gotta be one in there, gotta be. Is that a snook right there? Yep. Yep. Oh, snook. Oh, yeah. All day, baby. Ah. Damn. That would have been the biggest of the trip right there. I messed up the first cast, I think. I put it too close to him. Yep. Is that one? It looks like one up in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, got one. It's a decent one. Did you see him? Yeah. Well, no, I didn't see him, but I watched him follow it all the way back up. I made that cast. Oh, don't get in there. I made that cast expecting something to come shooting out of there because I just threw it back as far as I could under the mangroves. All right, all right, all right. Finding a few. Fine. Man's about to jump in the boat. Luckily, don't gotta retie anything there. Got that one on the three incher. They're nice fish, they're healthy. They're just not like, we just haven't really had anything over about 22 inches. Did have one nice one about 27 chase it up but okay come back here about a 27 chase it up but that was about it that's the biggest one snook we've had pop that one out let him back in water's real clear there he goes oh yes 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 there you go oh he threw it yeah dang that oh, we, so dark. Yeah, he was. Wow. Well, we found him. We found some snook. It's definitely clear water equals snook here. That's about all I can say. Clear water, a little bit of bait, and some structure. You find the snook. You're throwing a darker color too. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I think this is Melbourne Mint. It's like got a gold belly but blue back. I think it is. Oh, oh, nice snook. There you go, Nick. Here, let me get my rod out of the water. Nice fish. Yep, 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 yep. Might be easier to step down. Luckily, he's going out in open water. I'm going to reverse here and push you to the back of the boat. Oh, that's a good one. 
There you go. That's what we've been looking for. Some more of those. Ooh. Nice. That shatters the big fish of the trip. Yeah, that is definitely the biggest snook. Big Does he snook. hook good? Oh, yeah. Money. Money. Yeah, you got him. Here, lift him up. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> dang. You're famous for that off. one. <laughs> I thought he was still on the hook. Well, what'd you catch him on? Let me see it. That is a three inch in a, I think that color is called Dark Horse. It's just basically a solid black, which is a entirely different bait than what I'm throwing, which is a very light color. Dang, I kind of wanted to measure him. I think he's probably 28 to 29. Oh, that hurts a little bit. <laughs> There's gotta be one sitting back in that shadow. Gotta be, let's find out. Nope. Tomorrow we'll probably, I don't know, depending on what we'll do, try to throw those twitch baits. Oh! There we go. We found them. We found them. A mini mullet? I'm gonna pick up a mini mullet next after this fish. I'm gonna. Now you're good. Yep, after this fish, I'm going to switch to a topwater mini mullet. They are so aggressive, they have to, like, just... They're being extremely aggressive right now. It's like they've never seen a lure, which they probably haven't. Whoa. Probably never seen a lure. It's probably the first time this fish has ever been caught. Another little snook, but they're a lot of fun. Well, guys, quick update for you. I think it is about 11. It's 12 o'clock right now. And uh, so our plan to get some Goliath kind of has fallen through. We haven't found anything. We haven't gotten a bite from one. Haven't gotten broken off by one. Nothing. And um, honestly, I really expected a lot more or to be able to find them pretty easily. But they're kind of tricky. I, I can't honestly uh, pattern them down or whatever. I had some tips from people who fish here a lot. And we pretty much followed the tips to try to find them. And uh, we, just, we just can't today. So we're going to probably ride out this... Uh, the snook bite a little bit. I'm gonna throw a mini mullet here, which is that smaller little mullet. Basically, it's a little mullet, but it's about four inches. It's not actually out yet. It's still a prototype, but I've been catching a lot of fish on them, and they are just uh, proven to work. And uh, we're gonna try to just maybe catch a few more fish. Nick pulled the fly rod out, and uh, I'm enjoying a PB and J. So we're gonna get back to fishing here, and really just another beautiful day. Can't ask for anything better. It is really nice out here, but yeah. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and um, we're just going to keep on fishing here. Stay tuned. Hopefully we'll find um, maybe even a bigger snook than the one Nick had earlier. Remember the one I caught on a gulf shrimp that was swimming away like 20 miles an hour? No. RCI tournament day? No. I remember the RCI tournament day, but I don't remember that. Well, there was one that spooked. You threw at it, and it took off, and I threw a gulp shrimp at it or something. Oh, it was swimming away like super fast and he just like you turned on it and inhaled it. A little thing in my arm. Oh, there it is. You think that was the one? Oh, Nick, careful. I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. Fish on the mini. Oh, we pulled off right there. Spoke too soon. There we go. We found a few more. I won't lie. The second I said we patterned in the snook, we lost him. <laughs> Couldn't find another one for a couple hours. Now we're back on him. Yeah. Is still on there? Yeah, he is. See him floating way behind the back of the log? Literally just, yeah. Yep, yep. Come on, let him get, let him get. Oh! Let's go! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I take credit of someone. Yeah, that's all you, because I didn't see him at all. Somebody stole my, the mini mullet flew off.
All right, we'll get you off in a minute. That's what I'm talking about. That was a mini mullet eat right there. Chased it out. It did take slowing the bait down a little bit for him to decide to eat, but kept him hot on it the whole way. That was too sick. These snook are fired up. Fired up. You frayed me pretty good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's got to be like number 10. You think? Somewhere. We've caught quite a, quite a few today. It's a good one. I mean, you've probably caught six or seven. I don't yeah. Know, three or four. Today is the day of the snook. All right. I'll send you back. That works. All right. Well guys, and just like that, that is day two complete in the Everglades. We knocked out quite a few snook today. We dialed them in pretty good today. Pretty much know exactly where they sit or, um, we basically dialed them in. What do we have? About a 10 or 12, I think, eight, nine, 10, somewhere in there. We did not find the Goliaths like we kind of, um, well, we, what, that's exactly what we were looking for today, but we're just gonna have to go out, go back out tomorrow and uh, try our best to find them again. Um, it's definitely difficult out here. You have a massive, you have a giant area and um, everything looks the same. Everything looks good. And um, yeah, we just knocked out. We had a tarpon today as well. I completely forgot about the tarpon because we had them in like the first five minutes. I think that's it. I appreciate you guys for sitting through this video, watching it. If you guys want to check out any of the lures we used in today's video, check out nolivebaitneeded.com. And um, I think that is it. We have, uh, I'm thinking, two more days in the Everglades. I'm not 100% set on that, but um, we'll definitely have one more day out here to try to dial in those Goliaths. I'd really like to get them, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching today. Nick, you got anything to say? Nothing? Tired and hot and ready to go home. Let's go. We did have amazing weather the past two days. Can't ignore that. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna head back to the ramp. I will see you guys in that next video.